You look good tonight. A wonderful dress for a wonderful evening. Hey, Sam. And don't forget to take three of the blue pills before heading to bed, Dad. Merlin, which one of us is a parent here? Nevertheless, I'll be back at 10 o'clock to make sure you're doing all right. Now, don't come back at 10. You're young. Go ahead and have a good time. Okay. And, uh, just in case? Dad, I'd, uh... Have a good time. Thanks, Dad. Love ya. <laughs> Love you, son. Without Dungeon Crawl, we can finally get back to doing what we normally do on Friday nights. And I gotta tell you, chicks dig vampires! <sighs> Good evening. Would you like to try our 89 Chardonnay, our 92 Zinfandel, or our 97 Rosé this evening? Uh, we're fine, thanks. I'll have the Rosé. I'll have a cola. And can we also get a ham and cheese pizza, too? If it's okay by you. Sure. Of course. So I hear you're taking art? Yes, sculpting. Oh, right now, I'm working on this piece called Man Hate. It's this large phallus that I'm carving into with a potato peeler. I got home early, and I walked in on them doing their English lesson, and I didn't know how, thank you, keep them coming. <laughs> oh, but where was I? Oh yeah, they are doing their English lesson, and he was on top of her. <laughs> Alistair never really appreciated my art. He'd you know, always try to praise its price, and. No, go on. I'm listening. No, it's all right. I shouldn't be talking about him this much anyways. It's a nice restaurant. Yeah. It was my mom's favorite. I used to take her here every year on her birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is just where Alistair took us on our first date. Do you want to get out of here and go for an ice cream or something? Yes. I had a great time tonight. Uh, me too. My mom's not home. Do you want to come in and have a drink? I think you've had enough to drink for one night. <laughs> Plus, I should get home and check on my dad, make sure he's doing all right. Uh, maybe another time, though? Yeah. Good night. Good night.
My father was known almost more as the character he pretended to be. His dungeon crawl character, Hrothgar, was a strong and bloodthirsty barbarian. People would always joke that he couldn't be more different from my father, but those people just didn't know him well enough. Like Hrothgar, my father was a man of courage and strength. He had a good heart and would always stand up for what he believed in even if everyone else thought he was wrong. Hrothgar was a hero, just as my father was a hero to me. I can only hope to one day be able to follow in his footsteps. Hey. Hi. How are the guys doing? Germ's pretty upset. But Andy's with them, so he'll be fine. How are you? Fine. You know I'd be proud of you. Yeah, I know. It's just... This tournament meant a lot more to him than he'd let on, you know? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. He'll understand. He can't do everything. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. What are you talking about? Well, since Brian's no longer on the team, I'll take his place and I'll act as a player. What? Not just a dungeon crafter, a player. But you haven't played in a tournament as a player in over 10 years. And the tournament is in two days. Well. I know, but if I hit the books and study hard enough, I'm sure I can get into player shape by then. I could really use your support on this. That's what Dad would have wanted me to do. <laughs> <laughs> 